here. I'll look it up. Chris Savino. The dark truth about the Loud House creator. Oh, I don't know. What the, I, I don't know the Loud House. Only from the Nickelodeon Smash game. <clears throat> All right, let me get the cliff notes. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Screen Shakedown. Today we'll talk about the dark truth about Ren and Stimpy creator Chris Savino. Wait, Let's what? head into it. Chris Savino's suspension. Wait, no, Chris Cartoon Sav Brew has Wait, exclusively what? learned that Chris Savino, creator of Nickelodeon's hit series The Loud House, was I thought put Ren and on Stimpy an was made by that other pedophile. The um, suspension follows extensive allegations K. of sexual harassment against the 46-year-old animation industry veteran by employees at Nickelodeon. As many as a dozen women have come forward yeah, to accuse John Savino Chris of Lucy. inappropriate conduct, ranging from unwanted sexual advances to threats of industry blacklisting after the end of a consensual relationship with co-workers, according to individuals within the studio. Rumors of Savino's actions date back at least a decade and have followed him through various productions on Brian which Cooper, he's been working over the years. Nickelodeon has not confirmed that Savino is not in the studio at the moment. A spokesperson for Nickelodeon told Small Screen Shakedown, Viacom is committed to our employees' safety and well-being. Viacom, a the boogeyman. Workplace. We do not comment on specific employee issues as a matter of policy, but we take all allegations of this nature very seriously, thoroughly investigate them, and take any necessary actions as a result. It's unknown how the absence of Savino from the show will influence the rest of the crew or production of the series, which follows the adventures of Lincoln Loud, a boy who grew up with Ted I've never seen the show. Family. The series has been a major ratings hit for the network. Nick's rating wolf. juggernaut SpongeBob Recent SquarePants ETF has been rivaled want. by the Loud House. Last December, Nick reported that in the 2 to 11 demographic, Loud House was their number two series, averaging 950k Whoa. viewers per episode, slightly behind the 984k average of SpongeBob. Tell you me can more about Comment Chris. on this video or text on Small Screen Shakedown on other platforms if able to accept a job offer at Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon confirmed that Chris Savino was fired from the company and that he is no longer involved in the production of The Loud House, which will continue. Anne Walker Farrell's Last August, Ann August, Anne Walker Farrell, people? who's currently the director of Netflix's BoJack Horseman, called out an animated oh, predatory gotcha, figure. She confirmed in a series of tweets after Cartoon Brew's story was published yesterday that it was Chris Savino who harassed her 15 years ago when she started out on the Cartoon Network. Small Screen Shakedown shows some of her tweets to you. Take him down at Nickelodeon. Grandma's been waiting for this day for a long damn time. Hashtag me too. Ann Walker Farrell, October 18, 2017. I feel Did sorry I didn't him? speak up sooner. I learned my lesson. Speaking up and looking out for the young'uns out there. Never again. Ann Walker Farrell, October 18, 2017. It me. Hi. It happened a long time ago. 15 years. I spoke about it in a bit in an earlier thread. Apparently dude's approach hasn't changed. And Walker Farrell, October 18, 2017. What a night. I carried this story. Right, so just going through tweets. I was hoping they tell a little bit more about the guy. Because I don't know shit about him. The John Chris Felucci, though, we know a lot about. We watched that whole video on him. That was a fuck situation. But yeah, apparently this guy's a real fucking bad guy, too.